Oh, fellas. Is he seen? Or is he seen? Today, we're on Jack of the Candy, eh? Yes, I know. I know we've been through this many a time before. But September is approaching and I want to get my car ready for if things open back up. You know, because I see it. You know, all my brethren's doing things. What are we doing? Well, what are you doing? Nothing. I can't do it in my tool. Because I'm in a even falling out. Going out there, you know, drifting, you know, having a good time, even thinking about me. So, we fed the car, not really working anyhow. So, we done a thing to call me for, because, you know, I ain't going nowhere, the car not working. But still, no, think about me, you know, make a little call, you know, let me know, hey. Yeah. Have another drift event, you know, but no, them, them just going, drifting, having a good time, and then afterwards, they send them many videos. Like the icing on the cake, but oh gosh, boy. make me feel like to pour up a cup of punching, chase it with grandma zone, Dasha, Angostura, bleach bitters. If you like to live like <laughs> they take me on the thing and I just want kick sir. Hey, but dang, yeah. Shit up. Um we're going on do our entire overall. Well, not entire overall, but you know, we're going to touch most of the stuff on the car while it's on the air. Just to prep for September. And I'll explain the rest once the car in the air. I just wanna say once again these you know, homemade rams just save your boy with local stuff. Like, for real, it really makes it, makes life a whole lot more easier when it comes to local life. You just drive up on it and jack it up. Alright, so here what we doing, right? First, the gearbox and the drive shaft had to come out. I got to send the gearbox to fix, because third gear synchro. Talk about that already, right? That going and get fixed and replaced, the box going and get opened out. The drive shaft, we have to do the center bearing, so that coming out. So he's going to do that alone, but since that coming out, might as well send the gearbox a fix one time. So those two things had to come out, right? On this side, go and change the back brakes one time, because this this part low and make a noise. So we just go and change the both of them one time, right? See now the car up in the air. You gotta adjust the coilovers properly this time. So you gotta adjust the preload and then drop it back down. And and then depending on how much money I have to play with, I might adjust like like repair the bushings and tie rod ends for the suspension stuff because you know those things still kind of bad and we don't want to weld the diff with the suspension still being bad especially in the back and with that being unpredictable with the bad bounce and bad sway and whatnot it could be very dangerous with just regular driving not even with with drifting we are talking about drifting yet with regular driving a bad sway and a bad bounce with a welded diff could lead to disaster so i contemplating you know doing over the ends well doing over the suspension arms and stuff like that if money allows it. Alright, well I took out one part and this is what you're looking like. So definitely weighing uneven. So most likely I'll either resurface the the rotor or buy a new one. Get a new one sorry. Because when you when you pass your hand like this, it's you know it's normal, but when you pass your hand like this, it's wavy. As in, you can feel like it bumpy now. So, it probably just wearing unevenly. But for now, until I can source a new rotor, I'm just gonna replace the pads. The other pad, metal, metal was rubbing on metal. Alright, this side was actually pretty good. 
for the most part, but you know, we're changing one, we're changing all. The old coil of a set a little um, bouncy, uh, so I'm gonna adjust it for max yeah. tension and see how it rides. Yeah. And then from there, I will know what to do if the if I don't like it, I'll just always adjust it down. But we aiming for max. Um, tension. So how to adjust the preload and the tension on the spring is basically you take the two lucky washi thingy thingy, screw it all the way down so that all the bottom screwy thingy thingy, which is this, that is screw, right, wouldn't move. So that the shaft wouldn't move into this, drop any color, right? And once these two lock in place, stop in the trunk thingy, right? Let's take a key, this thing, and then you turn it, right, whichever direction, because I already compressed it, and that will send the spring up, compressing the spring, and that is how you set it. The fronts are fairly easy, because they don't have, you know, that much tension on it, so it goes all the way up to max. But the rears actually give quite a bit of force to go up so you just have to tighten it as tight as you can go and then just match the other side in the rear is i'm gonna try to take out the drive shaft and the and the gearbox when the drive shaft is not in the gearbox and you tilt it all the fluid comes out the back end of the, the gearbox so i'm trying to think of a way to keep the fluid in without having to top up that much and the only thing I can think of is to take out the, the gearbox with the drive shaft in it. So that's why I didn't completely take out the, the drive shaft yet now. As the box had to open anyhow. So that means the, the fluid will have to come out some way or the other. So I'm going to just take out the drive shaft completely, drop it, and then slide out the gearbox. Alright, so watch this. See that wobble? See how it not? See that? That was making noise on an Erika. I rock in it. Huh? It come in. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll never make that joke again, though. <laughs> she leaking. She leaking. She leaking. Damn, she she really wet, man. <laughs> bro, she leaking, bro. <laughs> All right, we got another day here. Yeah, box is out and it took, a, it took a, a good bit of work but it finally out. <laughs> and just like that we say goodbye. Off the rebuild. Well, today is today is Sunday, and well, can I get to work on the car because it's rain. <laughs> so now what we're gonna be doing is taking apart this whole assembly here, and what is a very important tool for this job is a 19 spanner. Reason being is because there are certain areas, especially for this part right here will be very hard to reach so you could use whatever tools you feel like to break the nuts but for sure you need a 19 ratchet I mean a 19 spanner for the tight areas in, in the assembly so let's get to it
All right, all right. I run into a little problem where I found out that the the lower ball joint for the cradle, you know, can't come out because the axle is in the way. So you have no choice but to take out the axle to take out the lower the lower cradle arm. So and this is a 36 socket. And I tell you, the thing fat. The thing fat. Real big thing. You gotta, you gotta deal with. And these things ain't cheap, so. Right? So you gotta get this. And no ordinary handle can work on that. You need a. You need a, a big boy. A big boy for handle. So yeah. So now I'm going. Well, I already break it. Because, you know. I already break it, so. Let me take this off now. So as you can see, the rear suspension has been gutted. And the only thing left now to do is to replace all the bushings and the arms and mount back up everything. All right. The left side did give me a bit of trouble in that most of the parts were seized. Oh my god. This right here is where the ball joint does not need come into. And a way to get out the nut, which I didn't know at the time, was you just had to turn the cup. Just had to turn the cup until the flat side was over the, the ball joint nut. And then it would easily get enough room to take out the, the nut. Right? Now, as you could see, the left side gave me real trouble because even after I take out the ball joint nut the ball joint was seized inside here right as you can see the cup is still in the spindle because the cup is seized inside the spindle right and I also wasn't able to take off the the rear lower cradle arm because the sway link the nuts and bolt on it on the linkages kind of worn down and rusty and you know I can't break it so quite a bit of problems on the left side the right side was was a little bit more cooperative but now what we're gonna do is I could press out the um, old bushings for myself but I don't have the correct tools so we go into a machine shop the machine shop will press out all the old bushings and then we will put in the new poly stuff so all that will be in the next episode hopefully by then we will get back the gearbox the drive shaft we will mount up that to mount up the brakes the rear suspension and uh, that will be it we will drop down the car and we will drive it send it to our line and uh, that will be it for the overhaul everything would have been touched everything would have been fixed everything should be in good working order so that we could drop the diff, weld it, drift it, have fun. So thanks for bearing with me. It's been, you know, I know it's been a while, but thanks for sticking with me. Um, we're almost there. We're almost there. As regards the giveaway, I know it's been a while, but I want to thank. As regards the giveaway. I know it's been a while, but I want to thank all the participants. In total, there was probably about 11 of you all with a lot of diverse cars and rides. And it was good to see some of what the viewers drive. As in choosing the winner for the giveaway, though, we went with a, a unique, you know, Choosing the winner for the giveaway though, we went with a more unique um, BR style, last man standing kind of theme. In that every time we spin and we got a name, we would, we would remove the name until there was one name left. So I hope that will be a little bit more interesting to see. Uh, before we get into the results for the giveaway, I just want to take some time to show you all, all the entries. 
and as far as you win out the giveaway you will know yourself by the end of the video so you just contact me on instagram and we'll organize and i'll give it a quick release right until um oh my gosh oh my gosh okay that'll be it for this video guys i want to thank you all for watching and tuning in you know every time i upload i know it's been a while and finding time to put this video together to make the video was a little bit tough this time around but hopefully in the coming months or so i'll be able to have something you know put together more stuff a little bit more consistently and yeah a lot more consistency <laughs> so thanks again for watching and until the next video peace out Put your hand